If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. This is the Morning Swim Show for Monday, October 14th, 2013. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings, and join me, joining me in the Finis Monitor today are the head coach and star swimmer from the Spartanburg High School Vikings. The team finished second at the South Carolina State Championships recently amid the news that the pool they had used for training was being demolished. Coach Victoria Merritt and senior Brad Oberg join me now via Skype from Spartanburg High School. Guys, it's great to see you. How are you today? Doing great. Thanks. Thanks for having us. Great to have you. So congratulations on second place. It must have been a good feeling. Yes, sir. It was. Thank you. Most definitely. Uh, Victoria, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's the highest that Spartanburg has ever placed in, in the boys team at state. Is that right? Um, that's the highest we've placed most recently. Um, we have been uh, state champions four times in the past, but um, those were back in the early 2000s. So this is the highest we've placed most recently. Uh, within the last, you know, 10 years or so. What do you think helps the boys team do so well this season? Um, I think that this has been a goal of ours since, you know, most of these seniors have been sophomores and we've been looking to do this um, and, and score this high for years and we've been working towards that goal, um, you know, with them practicing with their year-round clubs and, and working together um, to kind of build up to this moment so when it finally happened we were we were all really excited I think it just took a team effort all together Brad what does it feel like to have the culmination of a, a three-year goal finally come true uh, it feels great you know the team and I we have eight guys seniors on the team so we all thought this was the year that we could actually do some pretty big this year so after three years of doing pretty well we finally stepped up and got second place which was you know what we thought we could do and get a couple of state championships. And if I'm not mistaken, it was Riverside that won the, the boys' title, correct? I mean, they yes. won by almost 200 points. I mean, did you ever think in the back of your mind maybe we could beat them? Um, we, I mean, we thought about it a couple of times during the season, and we tried our best to catch them. But, you know, they have a great team, and we tried to catch them, but it was kind of hard to beat them. Right, right. Well, Victoria, I don't want to leave out the girls' team. Tell me um, what you thought of their performances this season. Yeah, um, you know, last year and, and the year before, we lost about 12 to 13 senior girls over the last two years, and so our team this year is really young. Um, you know, we have a, we had about eight or nine seventh graders that you know just brand new to swimming, um, so that was a big thing for us to kind of work with eight senior boys and then um, nine seventh grade girls. Um, but overall, you know, we were pretty impressed with how they did, and um, not our biggest state team. Uh, for girls that we've ever brought to state with us, but definitely, um, you know, a good group of girls that went, and they all had great swims, best times um, all together, so we, we couldn't be happier with how they performed. And Brad, you know, after all these years of just kind of being just an, an also-ran, I guess, if you want to call it that, at the state meet, you're finally a state champion, not once, not twice, but three times, the 100 fly, 100 back, and 200 medley relay. I mean, I know these weren't lifetime best for you in these swims but um tell me what it's like to uh to finally get the the right to call yourself a state champion uh it feels fantastic being a high school state champion has meant a lot to me for a couple of years and i've it's been what i've worked toward during the high school season for three or four years now and i've i've wanted to do it over and over but i've, I've come close a couple of times but this, finally i broke through this year and it, it couldn't have been better being my senior year i was really excited my swims, I felt like they were really good swims. You know, for being start of the season, I felt like they were probably the best I could do. So I just felt like it was a great year, high school swimming wise. It was just helped a lot. And every year, South Carolina is the first high, first state to do their state championships. I mean, not actually, I don't think there are any other states that do it in October. Definitely not early October. Um, Brad, do you think that had any kind of effect on your swims, being that it was? Um, so, like you said, it was early in the season? Um, 
Uh, yeah, starting with that and, you know, not having trained that much this season and also not being shaved or tapered really, it really, I mean, I wanted to do my best not being shaved and tapered, but being within a second, half a second is really good for high school season. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I, I was going to ask you if how shaved and tapered you were. So knowing that you weren't completely shaved and tapered, you were, I believe, a half second off your best time in the 100 fly, about a second off of your 100 back. Uh, you've got to be real motivated now. Yes, sir. I'm really excited for this year. I'm expecting big things for myself, big drops in 100 back, 100 fly, 200 back, 200 fly, all the events. Well, Victoria, you've got a lot of work to, ahead of you for next season. Not only do you have to replace people like Brad and the seven other seniors that are on the team, but you've got to uh, try to find some pool space. The uh, Spartanburg Swim Center closed down um, the week of the state meet, um, which is where the, the high school was training. Um, first of all, tell me about any plans that the school has of, of finding some water space next season. Yeah, um, you know, the, having the Spartanburg Swim Center closed has definitely um, been a, a big loss for both the high school and our community, um, you know, because there aren't very many pools um, in the Spartanburg area that are indoor, let alone in South Carolina. Um, so this will definitely be a big loss for us. Um, but, you know, there are plans in the works for our team. Um, you know, our district has definitely got the best interest of um, the swim team at heart, and I know there will always be a place for the swim team where we're pursuing a couple different options, and, you know, we just want to find the best fit for us um, to get the most pool time in. Well, I, I, if you ever come up against a fight, you just have to hold up that second place team trophy and say, look, we need to continue this legacy. Most definitely, yeah. We want to keep our, uh, our tradition strong. And Brad, you are um, one of the, the many great year-round swimmers that Spartanburg had. You train at Y Spart Aquatics. Um, you've been doing very well at the YMCA Nationals. Is there any kind of a plan to do anything at the USA Swimming Junior Nationals and um, hopefully maybe even uh, qualify for Senior Nationals? Uh, yes, sir. At Junior Nationals and winter, I'm, I'm looking to do some big times, get some, uh, get some top uh, – at eight top 16 finishes at junior nationals and then maybe qualify for senior nationals in, in the summer but not not i'm not going to try and uh, go to senior nationals in the winter yeah that's probably that would be a little too close together yes um you're a senior in high school have you thought about college have you even made your college choice yet uh, i have not made my college choice i'm pursuing a couple of different colleges right now Okay, I'm, I'm sure it's it's not an always an easy choice, but I, I think now that you're state champion, I think probably the colleges will make it easier for you. Yes, sir. Well, guys, congratulations again on this great state uh, straight state meet that you had. Uh, Brad, congratulations on the state titles. But before we let you get back to class um, there at Spartanburg High School, we want to submit you guys to the final five. These are five questions we use to get get to know our uh, subjects a little bit better. Uh, these are questions both of you, I want both of you to answer. And Brad, we'll start with you on this first one. If you could change the order of strokes in the individual medley, how would you change it? Um, I think probably make it backstroke, backstroke, breaststroke, freestyle butterfly. Okay. How about you, Victoria? Um, I probably want to keep it kind of the order of the medley relay, but I think it'd be really cool to have a, uh, a dive for the backstroke star instead. All right. Uh, to kind of change things up. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, Brad, what's a career that you would most like to try? A uh, career? Um, I don't know. Maybe a business, some type of business, or doctor, or engineer. Okay. Victoria, if, there, if you could do something besides being a high school teacher and swim coach, what would you like to do? Um, if I um, could do anything else, I'd like to be a surgeon. I think that would be... Um, a very rewarding job and something that, um, you know, would, would definitely be something different and new every day. All right. Next question, Brad, what's a career you would definitely not like to try? Oh, um, I don't know. Maybe uh, an archaeologist. I don't know. Okay. That's a new one on us. Victoria, <laughs> how about you? Um, you know, to be honest, I, I'm not sure. I've never thought about that. Um, I guess, um, I don't know. I have no idea. I didn't know. Well, yeah, I've never, never thought about what I wouldn't want to do. I've always <laughs> thought about, you know, what I'm passionate in instead. Well, that's a um, good way to think about it. It definitely is. 
All right, if you could change or add any of the rules in the swimming rule book, how would you change it? Victoria, we'll start with you. Um, actually, you know, Brad and I have often talked about this one a lot, and uh, so I don't want to steal his answer because I agree with this. I'll let you an him answer this one because I know this is something that he would especially want to change if he could. All right, uh, Brad, what do you think? The 15 meters underwater, I'd, I'd rather that not be a rule. Well, as a butterfly or a backstroker, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> All right, last question. Where do you, where would you most like to go on vacation? Um, for me, probably uh, somewhere where the water is completely crystal clear. Uh, maybe the Bahamas um, or the Dominican Republic, somewhere with uh, crystal clear water on the beaches. Okay, Brad. I gotta go with the classic Disney World. All right. Well, that's not too far from from South Carolina. Have you ever been? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, it's never, you're never too old to go to Disney World. <laughs> well, guys, thanks so much for joining us. And um, Brad, good luck with making your college decision. Victoria, good luck with um, the upcoming uh, season there at Spartanburg. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Our Thank pleasure. You. And thanks to you as well for joining us on the Morning Swim Show. You could follow all the latest aquatic sports news by going to swimmingworld.com. And be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.